the next right thing is for me to go to the Enchanted Forest and find that voice. Hello everyone, this is your pal Nate to that one year home of the footage of content, so today I'm doing a movie review on Venom of Stobie Carnage, coming out of year of 2021. Well, originally this movie was going to come out on last year, but apparently that stupid COVID king came along and that movie got delayed. And so yeah, this movie is finally released, I originally wanted to see this movie in theater, but nope, I didn't put into it because I was so busy in life, and I hope you guys understand that. And so yeah, and yesterday I got this movie for Christmas, and so yeah, I thought I watched this movie last night, and this movie was kind of underwhelming because this is added out one, uh, this is added out one, uh, this is added out one of the weakest superhero movie of 2021. So don't get me wrong, I don't hate the movie. I still have some six positives of the movie. Number one, I think Eddie Book is a great character. N uh, number two, I think Venom is a really awesome character. Um, number three, I think the post credit scene is my favorite scene of the movie because I don't want to, I don't want to get into the spoiler of the post credit scene. Number four, and I think, I think, I, I think Eddie Book. I think Woody Harrelson as Carnage is my it's, it's my favorite character of the movie because you because because uh you don't want to mess with Carnage because Carnage is added up one of the strongest villains I ever seen for Sony movie. Number four, and I think Eddie Brooks' wife is a really great character of the movie. She's pretty she's pretty hot too anyway. And number five, and I think the climax of the film are really awesome too. And my last positive I have to give for this movie is how to be Venom vs. Carnage, which is, which is added up one of the best. B boss battle I ever seen for Marvel Sony movies, and so yeah, let's get to the negative. Number one, I think the one time is really ridiculous. I don't understand why this movie's a one time, uh, has a shorter one time because the first Venom has a longer one time, but this movie has some shorter one time. This is not Tarzan. This is not Winnie the Pooh. This is Venom, not Tarzan and Winnie the Pooh. <sighs> yeah. And so yeah, and then number two, I think the uh, I think Eminem song, the new Venom song, yeah, you know what? I would you know what the Venom song from two thousand eighteen is way better than the newer one this year. And so yeah, and number three, I think Eighty Bug and Venom fighting over food is really um, and it. it it was unnecessary. It was unnecessary. And so, yeah. And number four. I think the worst character of this movie. It has to be that woman right here. From No Time to Die. Which is added on one of the worst performances i ever seen for her. Because her screaming really hurt my ears. And number four. I think the opening scene was kind of boring. Because I just don't. Uh, I just don't give a crap about the opening of the film. And number five. I think the story is a little bit cliche. Because we see that type of story in a million times. And the last positive I have give for this movie is how to be that um the scene. I don't want to get into the spoiler because the scene what I'm talking about is a is a it, it's called um detective scene. It's really kind of necessary. And so overall, I think Venom with Ruby Connors is just added on one of the weakest out of the Venom movie because I think Venom one is way better movie. Hey guys, you want to watch way better superhero movie? Just go watch the Suicide Squad 2021. Just go watch the Zack Snyder Justice League and, and go see Spider-Man No Way Home again. Spider-Man No Way Home will always be my favorite superhero movie up to 2021 than this. And so yeah, I am giving Venom with Thurby Carnage a 6 out of 10. It's a good movie. So yeah, that was my movie review on Venom with Thurby Carnage. Tell me what's on this movie on the comment section below well, where I spoil it. And so yeah, my next review is how to be the Metric Revolution tomorrow because I'm going to watch this movie tonight. And so yeah, wish me luck. And so, you guys, really hope you enjoy it. So, yeah, and stay tuned for my Matrix Revolution review. So, you guys, really hope you enjoy it. So, if you like this video, if you, uh, if, if you like this video, you know the drill. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna repeat myself. And so, yeah, stay tuned for my movie review on the Matrix Revolution tomorrow. So, you guys, I'll see you next time. So long. Have a great day, everyone. What would I do without you? You'll always have me.